guys, it's Hunk. So, um, I recorded this with the intention of doing a tutorial, but, um, that's just, that's just not how I roll. I don't do tutorials, um, for many reasons, but mostly because, like I've mentioned before, in uh, not so popular video, so I don't really expect anyone to remember, but I mentioned that my technique is literally just go with the flow and hope for the best. So there's not really a set of rules that I follow. Um, but I left my my layers and my brushes visible so you guys can see what I'm doing. As you can see, my formula basically for most paintings is I do a sketch and then underneath the sketch, I add the base colors. And um, after that, I make a new layer and set it to shade and also select clipping group and just select a more saturated color to do some gradient shading, uh, just for the aesthetics, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a little bit weird. Um, like, I'll try my best to kind of explain what I'm doing, but what I found out is when I was doing, um, well, I was recording the first time and doing the audio first time, I was trying to explain, like, you know, the tricks that I do to draw whatever. And then I kept doing something completely different than what I was explaining. So I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to make a tutorial if I'm not even following the set of rules that I supposedly have? But that's it. I don't have rules. I just do whatever feels right. Anyways, I'm going to be uh, merging all the layers together because that's how I paint all in one layer most of the time. And uh, yeah, the straight hair was uh, really boring. It's literally just with the pen tool and the marker tool, uh, using color selection and just selecting colors, placing them down, and with the acrylic brush, I would uh, blend them in. Um, it's not really exciting stuff, it's just lines, it's straight hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully you can figure it out. Because um, when I started doing digital art, that's basically how I found my techniques or whatever, um, I would just look at other people's process and be like, okay, yeah, that looks, that looks fun, that looks, uh, easy, and then I would try to recreate it, and then, you know, here we are. But yeah, um, doing the straight hair was a little bit weird for me because I don't usually put in a lot of detail into straight hair, um, it's just, I don't really like it. I don't know and a lot of people tell me that it looks bland and like it looks I don't know bad compared to like the the overall painting because it's not realistic and uh, like I I guess a lot of people based on critiques assume that I'm trying to go for a realistic style which is not true at all um, I mean realism is you know great and all but it's not for me like um, it's not something I, I, like, strive to get or good at, you know? Like, I do not give a fuck about realism. Um, and they're like, it's not realistic! And I'm like, no shit, it's not supposed to be! Um, yeah, I mean, I, don't, I draw my style, whatever feels right. It's Whether it's more realistic or more cartoony, I don't care, you know? I put out work that... I'm proud of and looks good to me um, and I don't really try to cater to anyone else's preferences so I mean there's that um, as you can see I'm going into the wavy hair now and uh, I think this is pretty like self ex uh, what's the fucking phrasing what's the thing that people say it explains itself um, I just literally go in with the marker the pen the airbrush um, and just do a bunch of scribbles and then with the acrylic tool I just blend a whole bunch. The acrylic tool is my best friend. Um, <laughs> I use it for literally everything. Um, but yeah, this uh, technique, it's not the, the cleanest, probably not the easiest way either. It's very messy um, and time consuming but I really like the end result when I do this. So, um, you know, it's what I do. <laughs> you can, uh, you can see what I'm doing and figure it out. Like I mentioned before, this is how I learned. And, um, 
<laughs> while I was recording the first time, I, I kept uh, trying to explain what I was doing. Because I was recording the audio and the video at the same time, so I was doing everything um, together. And uh, I kept trying to follow like a technique, but then I kept doing something different. And um, it was like, it was a mess. <laughs> um, so yeah, sometimes I don't love myself, so I blend just everything and then start all over, as you can see. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's probably not the, the easiest. Uh, <laughs> But it works for me. I like it. Also, this is this doesn't really have to do anything with um, with the tutorial. But please, 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 stop asking me about my uh, my filters, my textures that I use on my art. Um, my style right now. I'm at a point where I feel like those textures are the only thing that really makes my art unique. So I don't really feel comfortable with showing a bunch of people how to do it because then like, you know, I have nothing. <laughs> Maybe in the future when I develop a style that I feel uh, represents me without relying on the textures um, to be like unique. Um, Maybe then. I'll share them, but I don't really see that happening anytime soon. So just please stop asking me because I, I get like I get comments on my YouTube, on my Instagram, on my Tumblr, on DeviantArt, like just <sighs> guys, guys, guys. Please stop. Um anyways, I'm sorry, I had to say that. It's just it's uh been happening a lot lately. And uh yeah. Also this does have to do a little with tutorials. Um, one of the reasons I don't like to follow tutorials is because I feel like a lot of them are based on preferences and what people like to see. People like to see uh, colors being used this way. People like to see uh, their shading this other way or lighting this way or anatomy this way. And I think if you're an individual artist like me who's just putting out like art for free, um, just doing fan art or um, OC art or whatever. I feel like we shouldn't have to limit ourselves. Just experiment a whole bunch and practice a whole bunch. Uh, don't be afraid to use like weird colors. Uh, don't be afraid to like exaggerate anatomy. Like who the fuck cares? You're putting out art for free and it's your art, your time, um, your imagination. Don't limit yourselves to what other people uh, think art should look like. Um, going back to like uh, those comments that I get that it doesn't look realistic um, I feel like a lot of people think realism is like uh, like the goal for everyone like it's what everyone strives to uh, be able to do and it's not true at all I mean I don't really like realism a whole bunch um, but a lot of tutorials kind of limit themselves to the rules of realism and it's like that's so fucking boring <laughs> just do whatever if I do like I don't know I don't know tutorials are mm. like I, I hope I don't come off as someone that's saying that all tutorials are bad and that you're wrong for following them because yeah some of them are really helpful but I'm talking specifically about those tutorials that say this is wrong, this is right, you have to color with this because if you color with that it's gonna be bad, you have to shade with this because if you shade with that it's bad. Um, those tutorials piss me off because I've seen a lot of people um, who do what supposedly in, in their eyes, in the tutorial people's eyes, whatever, is wrong and their art is great. Um, like, if we all followed those rules that, uh, you know, are based around the rules of reality, um, if we all did that, our art would be the same. Like, there would be no, like, original ideas or unique styles or unique techniques for coloring. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling, but don't limit yourself. Experiment and practice a lot. Uh, use a lot of references. 
um, color, whatever fucking color you want. Um, but yeah, um, again, sorry for that rant. It's just, I wanted to get that off my chest, like I said. Um, I feel like a lot of these tutorials, like, instead of uh, helping out, it maybe discourages some people because um, it limits their creativity, you know? So, uh, like I said, if you're an individual artist, if you're just a kid who does it as a hobby or someone who's still trying to find their style or whatever like just experiment and do whatever feels right to you don't um you know don't try to cater to anyone's preference because at the end of the day this is your art your time your imagination and you can do whatever you want with it and uh yeah i'm i'm i okay i promise now i'm done with that um so yeah, I mean, I I feel like I disappointed a lot of you because you expected like and like an in-depth tutorial about how you know I do what I do, and uh, I'm sorry, but I can't really sit here and pretend that I have a technique and like pretend that I know what I'm doing because most of the time I'm just I'm just trying out new things. I'm trying to see what works, what I like, what I feel. Um, is fun and like at the end of the day that's what it comes down to like what feels easy for me what feels fun what represents me you know um, let me know if you like these videos uh, I might do more where I explain what I'm doing and show my my layers and my brushes um, as you can see I'm starting to do the afro hair I'm just filling out those spaces um, I left out and I have the uh, um, an airbrush tool and acrylic tool um, that have like this grainy texture so this is literally the easiest one to do uh, there's really nothing I can do to explain um, it's right there <laughs> um, but yeah uh, this was actually fun I got to like speak my mind and uh, I feel like a lot of you are gonna be like god do you ever shut up? <laughs> but um, I don't really talk in videos a lot and I don't really get to say what I feel and uh, I, I really did try to make a tutorial guys but it's just it's not me um, but I I seriously do hope that maybe this video helped you a little bit and I don't know try it out for yourself if you can and see if it works for you um, but yeah, we're nearing the end of the video, and I just want to say thank you for watching, thank you for putting up with me. Please do let me know if you thought this was a little bit helpful or entertaining. I really look forward to um, your comments, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.